Is this recording right now? It says red, there's a red dot and it says record. <laughs> that is definitely going to make the vlog. <laughs> Okay, now what? You're gonna have to rub button when you're done. Actually. Kelly McCony, ladies and gentlemen. Don't put that me in that. <laughs> I No! No. So it's Monday afternoon. I'm on my way to the airport. This week, heading this evening to New York. Tomorrow night, I head to Louisville, Kentucky. I will then be driving, I'm not sure when, either Wednesday evening or Thursday morning from Louisville, Kentucky to Columbus, Ohio. And then from Columbus, Ohio, heading back to New York. The topic for this week is something that is so critical to success in any type of organization. Delegate delegate, delegate. This week, we're talking about delegation. Meet at Lambert Airport. Don't forget to lock the car. Don't forget to remember where you put your keys. Always. Always remember to watch your water bottle. Alright, let's do this. I'm uh, in New York, got in reasonable time last night. The theme for this week is delegation. And so we're going to talk about why you delegate, who you delegate to, and how you delegate. So let's start with why you delegate. It helps you get more stuff done, right? Delegation allows you to do more than what you could do individually. On my way to New Jersey, second reason to delegate, if you're looking for that next job, if you're looking for that next promotion, you need to find somebody to do your existing job. You gotta delegate, delegate, delegate. Uh, so, my flight got canceled and I am still in New York. The third reason to delegate is you gotta train the next generation. You gotta find those next people. And the only way you're gonna do that is to delegate. All right, I'm heading to dinner and, uh, you know, another night in New York. Heading to Louisville. It's early. All right, I uh, made it to Louisville, Kentucky. And this is the second time I need to go back and, and revisit the vlogs that I ended up getting canceled trying to get into Louisville. I ended up showing late to my meetings, but uh, fortunately I have an absolutely awesome and very understanding client um, and a really good team member that I delegate to, team members that I delegate to, they're able to carry the torch when I'm gone. The second piece of the delegation puzzle is who do you delegate to? You need to find members on your team that you trust, that are ambitious, that are motivated, that have personality. So aptitude, motivation, personality, see get amped. And find those future star performers, find those people that you think might be able to do the job better than you and identify those as, as your key team members, as those you can delegate to. I need to go to dinner and uh, head to Columbus tomorrow morning. It is 
uh, sunrise on Thursday. I'm driving from Louisville to Columbus. It's about a three and a half hour drive. There, there are no direct flights. It's been pouring down rain almost the entire trip. There's another direct flight. What time do I land? I got my direct flight. Welcome to visit the Interfaith Meditation um, Room. I need to go visit the Interfaith Meditation Room after this week. Um, I got an extra room. So, fingers crossed I can get to New York, attend my meeting, and then fly home tomorrow. I have my trusty small black coffee and egg McMuffin with no Canadian bacon. Um, the last thing we were going to talk about is, is how do you delegate? It's critically important when you are delegating to one of your team members that they feel comfortable with whatever experience that you are asking them. But what you need to make sure is that they have the appropriate tools and resources to effectively complete that task. So even if somebody feels uncomfortable because you're making them do something that's outside the box or something that they've never done, what's important is whether it's you, whether it's another member of your team, they need to be able to ask questions right? and that the person ultimately has the tools that they need to be able to accomplish the task. The next important piece is, is trust. But it's absolutely critical that you trust your team member to accomplish that particular task. Then ultimately, that person will be able to do a better job the next time you delegate. If you can take that to a factor of 10, if you can take that to a factor of 100, the more you can delegate, the more work you're gonna be able to accomplish, the more successful that you can be in a large organization. I think we'll end the vlog from here. Here's what we're gonna ask you to do. Number one, mash that like button. Subscribe on YouTube. Some comments, people. You know, I, I we, we, we made some momentum there for a while. We got some nice comments. In fact, the Mistakes Happen video was inspired by uh, a comment that, that I received from, from, from one of the viewers. I got some feedback from the last video where I, I joked that I was hoping to have 10,000 subscribers, but I only have 143. I appreciate all 143 of you. And I also appreciate all you LinkedIn folks that, that, that watch, and I realize that that's where I'm getting a lot of the engagement. So thanks for tuning in. This is, this is a lot of fun, and I hope you're, uh, you're enjoying it. But next week, I am properly on vacation. Kelly and I are heading down to Key West. We have absolutely nothing planned other than a hotel room. This will be the first proper vacation episode of the Doug McCody vlog. So stay tuned next week.